Gyroblade isn't going to set the world alight, and it's not going to try to. It's unassuming in its ambitions and unexceptional in its execution, but within the confines of the modest remit it does set itself, it delivers exactly what it sets out to. And what that is, is a bit of simple, solid, old school shooting action that I can imagine a lot of people, just as I did, getting a lot of enjoyment from. The game looks, plays, and takes a lot of influence from Toplan's Tiger series, specifically inhabiting a space kind of somewhere in between Tiger Heli and Kyukyoku Tiger. It looks more like Tiger Heli, but plays a bit faster and with more of a feel of later games, and mercifully does not employ Tiger Heli's half length shot style. The visuals, as you can see, are basic, deliberately so, and while they do do a good job of mimicking the style of earlier games, there is no escaping the fact that they are a bit bland, and as you progress through the game, there's no excitement at seeing what the next stage might offer up. You already know. However, the game does do a good job of keeping things clear to the eye, and while it may not be terribly exciting, the presentation is perfectly serviceable. The music, on the other hand, in keeping with the trend of mimicking older games is pretty kick-ass. It does get a little repetitive if you keep playing for a long time, but it captures that old-school feeling nicely and more than makes up for the simplicity of the visuals. In terms of gameplay, there's really very little to be said. This is a one-button shmup with just a forward shot and no bombs. You start with a pea shooter and can collect pickups that increase your power through five levels, or just two on classic difficulty, with the power ups alternating between spread and power shots. There are a lot of enemies, and the game's pacing is its strongest point, with the player constantly engaged, and the mix of enemies and rate at which they can be taken down very satisfying. The name of the game here is definitely Crowd Control. Get enemies early, and you can keep the screen mostly bullet free for long stretches and give yourself an easy ride. Allow enemies time to get in screen and you can find yourself quickly cornered. With this in mind, the spread shot is great for main stages and by the time it is at max power, you can really make things pretty easy for yourself. Take a hit though and you lose all power ups and recovery can be frustratingly difficult once you're beyond the 4th or 5th stage, despite the fact you continue from where you left off rather than a checkpoint. Bosses, strangely, are actually usually easier than the main stages, with relatively simple patterns, but at least there are bosses, as Tiger Heli, the game this most closely apes, didn't have any. Scoring, again, is simple. There are stars dotted about each stage, and you pick them up for bonuses. That's it. They're quite important, as I found in most runs they would make up about half of my total score, but there's no trick to them. They don't increase in value as you collect them without missing any, or flash to indicate a higher value, you just pick them up. Which is fine, but it does feel like a bit of a missed opportunity to give the gameplay its own identity. Now, even though there's nothing spectacular about what Gyroblade does, it does do it all very competently, and the game feels satisfying and fun to play. There is, however, one way in which it copies its source material that goes too far, in my opinion, and that is in the between-stage changeovers, which see you lose control of your ship as it flies very slowly to an aircraft carrier, descends very slowly to a helipad, before reascending very slowly, and flying forward again, before handing you back control. I don't know if this may feel part of the nostalgia-inducing experience for some people, but for me, just as it was in those early Toplan games, this is nothing short of infuriating, and the one actual strong minus point I have to say about the game. Now, Gyroblade is very cheap, so take that into account in terms of your expectations if you do pick it up. Other than the difficulties like, there's little to nothing in terms of options, but at the price point, and in many ways for the style it's going for, that's really to be expected. I think if what you're looking for is an early arcade or NES era shooting game that is unapologetic in being nothing more than exactly that, you'll likely find Gyroblade an enjoyable pickup, and I would give the game a 7 out of 10 overall. I can't imagine anyone being blown away by this, but I also can't imagine anyone who's into this style of shooter disliking it either. Either way, let us know your thoughts if you try it, and thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Cheers.